I know. We're doing what we can. Yes, yes. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Hold on. Mr. Mayor? I know you're upset. Well, it's mixing up everything. I know. We're working on it. Oh. The school bus isn't going to be rather than they should be. What? Well, I don't know. What's it doing there? Fine, fine. I'm on it. Anything illegal? Uh, no. I mean, 
Why would I want to do anything illegal on purpose? It's against the law, ain't it? The longer you keep this up, the harder it's gonna be for you. Fine, I did it, okay? Slap the cuffs on me, I did it, I can't take this anymore. You did? Yeah, I... She ain't walked on Mulberry Street. I didn't think it was wrong, and I did it anyways. You just see the other side of the sidewalk taunting you, and then you see that stupid flicking red hand blinking at you, like it's the hand that controls everything. Well, the hand doesn't control me here! The hand does not control me! Shay walking? Yeah, Jay walking. Let me call my mother before I go in. I want her to hear from me. Nobody cares about your jaywalking. So is this about another thing I did? Or what other thing? I found nothing illegal. Nothing funny. I'm getting real tired of these games, Jimmy. Look, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Mulberry Street, the morning of the 15th. I out of everything going on, you really think we wouldn't know this? I. Well, you was nothing. I, I didn't think you'd get out of hand. We've had several car accidents, ambulances getting lost on their way to the hospital, all because of you. Okay. Okay, you know, you guys, you push me, you push me. All right, I admit it, okay? I admit it. I, I rolled up the receipt by hand and I tried to throw it in the trash bin. The real NBA star. You know, like the ones you see on the TV set. I thought I would go in it. Yeah, well. Look, maybe we shouldn't be so big. Push it. Yeah, I think if we just ask him, he'll tell us the truth. Action. Cut. Jimmy, come on. Stop crying. I'm just thinking about the environment, you know? I didn't mean to hurt Mother Nature. Mother Nature's been a real stand-up gal. All of us considered. Look, Jimmy, you don't care about your living, okay? There's been somebody switching street signs all over town. Did you do that? Street signs? No. So, thank you for coming in. Like I said, we don't have a lot of reason to believe you're involved in this. But we know you're about to get exposed to one of the incidents, so we just wanted to be sure. Of course. Plus, who knows? We might have some contact. If I can help, I will. The switch street signs really are a nuisance. Sorry, Arnold. Place on 24th. Nothing too strange. 
sort of tormenting the pictures. I assume it was just tourists, but now that I think about it, do you think he left the pictures of the streets? Anything unusual about the man? He was wearing big sunglasses, like something you need to get up with. Well, I'll assume thank you very much for getting a big help. I'll let you know if I think of anything else. Zip 
the zoom, we water that goes into the pool. You know the kids, they love the water. Slides? No, no not slides. Slides. Yes, yes, slides that go into the pool with the water. You're talking about water slides at a pool. Yes, yes, zip, zoom, splish, splash, let's go. No, street signs on the streets. <laughs> water slides on the street, you are crazy, Bella. Forget it. That's a very good I'm very busy, you know. Yes, we are. Very busy with my brother Luigi. You have a little no problem. Yes, yes. Unbelievable. And we shall not part. Out. Catherine Blank. No, we don't want Catherine Blank. We want Catherine Blank and Ship. Yeah, you're right. I guess Jackson mixed up the files. He's new. Good. I've interrogated her before. Real jerk, huh? She is the most uncooperative suspect I've ever interrogated. It took me three hours last time just to get her to admit her name is Catherine. Well, let's cut her loose. Oh, so, we have to apologize. It seems to be a mistake and there's a clerical error. Yeah, right. Clerical error. That's what your grandma was going to say after I touched her in the face! Yeah, but there's no need for that. And if you're going to insult my grandfather, it should be safe. Oh, Mrs. Officer of the Law. You're going to tell me how to insult somebody? It's just what you said was incoherent. After you punch my grandfather in the face, he's going to say clerical error? Wow. Yeah, that was confusing. Well, look, the way I insult someone is by saying the first of the words that pop in my head and ending it with after I punch him or her in the face. I can go to your fancy cop finishing school. Look, we just wanted to tell you we made a mistake. We meant to call in Catherine Blankenship, not you, Catherine. It's Kathy. Get it straight. Well, Kathy, you're free to go. Like I'm falling for that one. Falling for what? You say, Kathy, go out. There's a nice picnic waiting for you. And then bam! The most floors go out and I'm trapped in a pit. Like a bear. Well, I ain't no bear, cop. We're not trying to track you like a bear, Kathy. That's exactly what a bear tracker would say. Please go, Kathy. You're not a suspect. You're not a witness. Leave. Go suck an egg. I know you're just playing me. Oh, my God. We're not playing you. Then you're trying to get me to rob somebody. No. I ain't no rat. You want a snitch, you got a snitch store after I punch you in the face. Look, Kathy, listen to me. We're not trying to accuse you of anything. We're not trying to twerk or trap you like a bear. We're not trying to get you to inform on anyone. We just made a mistake and we want you to leave. Go eat a donut, cop. Really gonna punch her. Wait, I got it. Reverse psychology. Well, Kathy, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. What are you talking about? Well, by telling us to go eat a donut, we realized we're through with this case. If you really gave us any relevant information, we'd be stuck working on it for what, a couple more days? Oh, at least. Nothing makes me mad when a witness gives us a lead. Oh, yeah? You want leads? I got leads of the yin yang! Yeah, right, Kathy. You don't know anything about the switching of street signs all over town. Yeah, I do. I saw a guy taking down a hop and skip, and he was humming. Of course, Pucky. You don't even know he was humming. Yes, I do. He was humming zippity doo dah. Clear as day. You better watch yourself, Kathy. You give us any more information like that, and you'll find yourself in the hole. Yeah, right. I'm going to punch you in the face. Stay here as long as you like. Not on your life. We're in trouble. These people aren't getting us anywhere. There's two, two more witnesses left. Can't get any worse, right? This is your next time, Mrs. Topswell.
maybe this is a crazy idea, but maybe we should call the kid's parents, right? Yeah, you're right, let's just lock her up. Not just but a label, and we are in the sacred space known as the theater. This isn't a theater. <laughs> are there three walls and a possibility? No, there's one, two, three, four walls. Even better, it gives us something to break through. Okay, so Miss, I'm sorry, what should I call you? We are all humans. Tethered to this existence through art and society. Well, I'm not going to call you that. Um, you're a high school drama teacher, correct? A purveyor of the veracity of live theater. I live to inspire. Look, what were you doing on the evening of the 24th? Oh, well, my pupils were doing a kabuki interpretation of a McDonald's commercial in three parts. It was a commentary on socialism and its effects on the we have reason to believe you were involved in the switching of the mulberry lane shoes. Do you have an alibi? Hmm. I don't buy it. Buy what? Miss, what's your objective? Look, I'm not going to be serious. Well, I can't answer someone that I don't believe. What is your objective? To get you to answer my question. Hmm. It's not strong enough. The, the objective needs to billow from the chasms of your soul and say, I am alive! Now what is your objective? To intimidate! Ooh, that's good. You've got the goosebumps standing up on the edge, but they're not really ripping the hair out. Now what is your objective? To eviscerate! Oh, eviscerate! I love it! I can feel the fire coming from your private mouth. Your diction is a little messy, so let's just rub the cheeks of the good your voice exercises go Good, excellent, now close your eyes. Don't force it, don't think about it, and when you are ready, open your eyes and ask the question. My students commence their performance at 6.30, and then I have parent-teacher conferences from 7 until 10. I have several parents that can verify this. You did so well. You had so much growth today. You took a big leap forward. Remember, this is a journey. Breathe out, and tomorrow, the journey begins anew. Action. No, 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 well, you blame you and spit on me in the streets? You better tell them on it. But is this something that I feel bad about? No. Now, if you two will excuse me, I have some important business downtown to attend to. The mayor is going to want an update on the case, and I am going to pass the ball on to you. Big time. He's going to be very so expect to be fine. Pack your things. <laughs> They're my wives. You know how that happens in the finest way you mix up sunglasses? No. Yeah, that's never happened. Well, it does happen exclusively to me. So if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't to be coming there, Chief. Well, oh, detectives, come on. This is ridiculous. Let me walk out the door. I have important business to attend to. 
I have things on my calendar. Things of important things. Well, it's just that we had one witness describe the suspect as wearing big Lady Gaga sunglasses. And another saying they heard him humming Zimini Duda. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to pull a switcheroo on the GP, huh? Well, sorry to disappoint detectives, but you're going to need more than two coincidences to prove anything! Two coincidences is a fair! But three? Three? And you can send them to jail! We won this at the academy, did we not? Yes, we did. It's kind of a terrible saying, isn't it? Nonetheless, it's what we go by. Three detectives, three makes a case. Well, we do have one other witness describe the suspect as wearing a t-shirt that says, I love street signs, but clearly you're not wearing a hat. Well, obviously not, so I'm wearing a trench coat. So nuts that you're ha! Boom! Three coincidences! We can put you in a slammer according to our training. Yeah, we could. Very good! You figured it all out, didn't you? I'm the bad guy. Why? Street signs that so ingenious. <laughs> When I was a young boy, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. When I was a young boy, Clover Lane was changed by my to Montgomery Avenue by the time, for no reason at all. And one day, because that street sign, I got lost. I wandered the streets, crying, trying to find my way home. And eventually, I wandered into the woods, where I was raised by a pack of wolves for a year. Fun fact about wolves: surprisingly good at parenting. Good at my parents. <clears throat> During that year, I was living with the wolves. I got revenge on this town. I told my wolf brothers and wolf sisters that one day I would switch up the street signs, and then two will know chaos and confusion. Then they'll know what it's like to be lost. Truly lost! And do you know what they did? There's, there's no question this isn't home. They laughed at me! How laughter! At least I think it was laughter when wolves is. Kind of hard to tell the difference between how with laughter and just how. But if they were hung with laughter, then today I am an animal man! <laughs> Plus, this job's only boring and I figured it'd be fun. Well, it's all over now, Chief. Uh, right. Well, I suppose I better take whatever little dignity I have left and give him a hand. Sounds good to me. Want to grab a bite to eat? Sure. How about that place on Pleasant Street? Want to put some coffee? Sure, you can 